Greetings and praise the Lord. Welcome to our daily devotion. Today's devotion is on, uh, uh, we are on the third episode, which is on, um, which is actually on the love, faith and forgiveness. But we are go- going to concentrate on forgiveness. It is, we have been working on the entering our year of unusual encounters because it's going to be a great year. 2023 and as we are getting into exit 22 and enter 23 i am telling you god is giving messages that are powerful and you need to hear them so that you can prepare yourself in entering into 2023 with confidence And uh, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for giving us yet another time to hear your word and even to have an encounter with you so that we know how we are going to face the coming year. We are grateful that, Lord, you are not going to leave us and you never forsake us, but you walk with us this journey to see that we are going to be successful in getting into the new year and walk through it with you guiding us and leading us. We thank you and honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, um, we cannot talk about uh, forgiveness without talking about love, because it is because of love that we get the forgiveness. And uh, we know that God is rich in and falling and failing love. His, his love never fails um, to all who love him. He trusts him, confess their sins, experience his forgiveness and obey him wholeheartedly. Love is the greatest virtue. It is the chief fruit of the Holy Spirit at work in and through our lives. And now, what is forgiveness? We are going to expound on love. Uh, In the next uh, two episodes, we'll be expounding on love and faith in a deeper way. But now today, we want to dwell on uh, forgiveness. And we are going to look at one character in the Bible that is uh, that had to forgive. And uh, forgiveness is the act of pardoning an offender. In the Bible, the Greek word translated forgiveness literally means to let go as when a person does not demand payment for a debt. That means someone owes you something, you are not demanding that person to pay. So when you forgive, you let go, even what he owes you. Jesus used this comparison when he uh, taught his followers to pray, because he asked them to pray, forgive us our sins for ourselves, also forgive everyone who is in debt to us. In Philemon chapter 1, Philemon has only one, that is Philemon has only one chapter. And I'm going to read uh, in New, a New American Standard Bible. Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus and Timothy, our brother, to Philemon, our, breath, uh, our beloved brother and fellow worker, and to appear, our sister, and to our keepers, our fellow soldier, and to the church in your house. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So this is um, Paul writing to Philemon. Uh, now, I thank my God always making mention of you in my prayers, because I hear of your love and of the faith which you have toward the Lord Jesus and toward all the saints. And I pray that the fellowship of your faith may become effective through the knowledge of every good thing, which is in you for the sake of Christ. For I have had great joy and comfort in your love, because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed through you, through you, brother. Therefore, though I have enough confidence in Christ in order, uh, to order you to do what is proper, yet for love's sake, I rather appeal to you, since I'm such a person as Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner of Christ. Verse 10, I appeal to you for my son Onesimus, whom I fathered in my imprisonment, who previously was useless to you, but now is useful both to you and to me. I have sent him back to you in person, that is, sending my very heart, whom I wanted to keep with me, so that in your behalf he might be at my service in my imprisonment for the gospel. 
but I did not want to do anything without your consent so that your goodness would not be in effect by compulsion but of your own free will for perhaps it was for this reason that he was separated from you for a while that you would have him back forever no longer as a slave but more than a slave a beloved brother especially to me but how much more to you both in the flesh and in the lord if then you regard me as a partner accept him as you would me but if he has wronged you in any way or owes you anything charge that to my account i paul have written this with my own hand i will repay it not to mention to you that you owe to me even your own self as well yes brother let me benefit from you in the lord refresh my heart in christ having confidence in your obedience i write to you since i know that you will do even more than what i see at the same time also prepare me a guest room for i hope that through your prayers i will be given to you epaphras my fellow prisoner in christ jesus greets you so as as to uh, as do mark aristarchus demas and luke my fellow workers the grace of the lord jesus christ be with your spirit now this is uh, a very interesting a letter that is written to Philemon and it was written because um, one Paul was in prison because of the gospel and it seems Onesimus was in prison because he had stolen from Philemon he was Philemon's worker he was Philemon's slave but now he had an encounter in prison and when he had this encounter it does not matter where you are an encounter with the lord can occur in any place in any situation at any time and that is where now philemon had an encounter i mean that onesimus had an encounter with the lord in prison as paul was able to lead him to christ and not only lead him to christ but he became totally transformed that paul embraced him as a son and not only as a son he even said that he was like his soul that means it was like a part of himself it was he himself and therefore he, as he was sending onesimus to his master um philemon he was actually sending him and letting him know that i have become a father to onesimus and i know he came here because he was useless to you because he had well stolen that is why and that is why now paul was actually plead, pleading with on uh, Philemon and asking him to take Philemon uh, to take um, uh, Onesimus back not as just a slave but to take him back as a brother and because he's no longer a slave because he's more than a slave he has become a brother because of the Lord Jesus he is no longer the way he was because he is now going back to him now on a higher level someone who never touch anybody's thing someone who become a blessing someone who become one that will benefit each and everyone not only his his one master but he's going to benefit the entire body of christ so when we get transformed that is what is going to happen and now paul wanted now uh, was pleading with um, Philemon also not now to be transformed because he is now going to be sent to someone who has been transformed someone who has had an encounter with the Lord and therefore he was pleading with Philemon also to be have an encounter with the Lord because if he has an encounter with the Lord he will know that his sins are already forgiven and therefore he himself he should be the first one also to desire to forgive anyone that comes to his way is there any sin that you know you have not been forgiven are there people you are holding you know that they have done all manner of things and you cannot forgive this is a moment that you need to have because once you get of to forgive others you'll be transformed and you are going to have an encounter with the lord to do mighty things you will embrace people you never expected you embrace i have been hugged and hugged by people i never expected that they are going to hug me the reason being 
is forgiving and as you forgive then the lord is going to transform them it becomes very powerful forgiveness is very powerful it causes others to turn their hearts around to have changed their views to turn around and to become a blessing even to the others so at this time as you have an encounter with the Lord, you have to remember, as we learned yesterday, that you have been, become a chosen instrument, and you've become a servant, and you've become a witness. For you to witness to others about the saving grace and about the forgiveness of sins, then you yourself must have an encounter with the Lord, forgive others, so that you are able to become a witness of telling others about Jesus, of giving others about the forgiving love of our Lord Jesus Christ and also telling them about how Christ cares for them. May the Lord bless you as you purpose to honor the Lord with your life and even to forgive. And if there are those people that you know they have really wronged you, desire to know to have time to forgive them and let go. We have seen that forgiveness is letting go. We are going to see quite a number of other people that have had an encounter with the Lord as we continue to hear the the word of the lord and you know what when forgiveness comes in you are gonna even even be there to stand on in in the gap on behalf of others and even pay their debts help them pay their debts how many people you know they owe and and because of the way they owe others they has had a big gap and difference between them because of the debt that they have you could be in a position where you can have, have some people maybe help, help some people pay off their debts so that they are not separated from others because of the debt that they have, which probably they will never pay. It seems on, uh, Onesimus was not even in a position to pay. That is why he had gone to prison. But thank God that even you that is listening to this word, if you yourself has been messing up and even probably doing things you know very well, they don't glorify God. If you have been lying, if you have been stealing, a time has come when you need to let go of that and have an impartation and have an encounter with the Lord just like Onesimus had an encounter. Do you know, you do not need to go yourself even to ask for mercy because the Lord is going to use others to go on your behalf and plead on your behalf, plead on your case so that you are forgiven and so that you can be received. May the Lord bless you as you purpose to honor him and to walk in his ways. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Karaoke of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries, mother to the amazing champions and mother to the CMCs around the globe. You'll be able to see that in our website at www.agrism.org and purpose to partner with this ministry, purpose also even to walk in the ways of our God and purpose also to partner and be walk with this journey with us as we raise the amazing champions to a new level. May the Lord bless you also as you purpose to follow us on Facebook and YouTube and uh, that is um, Bishop Dr. Grace Karuki. You can also find us on uh, Karuki Bishop Dr. Grace. Please like, subscribe and at the same time we ask you to as you as you are subscribing we need to hear your comments on forgiveness and let's know what god is doing in your life as you let go and as you also become forgiven because the lord has already forgiven you be blessed for now and walk in the ways that will glorify the lord as you continue to honor him with your life again god bless you shalom shalom